Hello. Welcome. Hello. It is... Welcome to Mostly Finished Thoughts. Welcome, welcome. It is shockingly late in the week today. <laughs> yeah, we've really done a number on our shows this week. It is Thursday, <laughs> September the 16th today. Yep. Uh, it's been one week. Yep, it's been... <laughs> <laughs> But it's really been one week of like, what? Oh, has it ever? I, and like, when I look back on the week, I, I'm i like, I feel like I've been constantly busy. And then at the same time, I always have a hard time being like, but mm. with what? What? But what did I do? Those are the best feelings. Mm-hmm. I've started writing down what I do during the days. That's smart. Are you like, like journaling, journaling or are you agendaing? Yes. What is the difference between those two? I things? don't know. Like I have, I have my like notebook that is oh, my your, like yeah. scheduler or yeah. whatever. Um, which just reminded me that I also have to edit the podcast today. <laughs> so, oh snapples, um, cool. Then you'll have. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's just gonna be a Theo filled day. I'm excited for yeah, it. To be nice. honest, <laughs> I really like listening to us just... talk. And then you can send over the podcast if, when you're done today, and then I can listen to it whilst playing games. It will be fantastic. Exactly. Perfect. Um, or, as I'm doing my new hobby, that is 3D modeling uh, and using GIMP. <laughs> <laughs> this is not brought to you by Skillshare, but... <laughs> <laughs> but it could be. Skillshare, Skillshare get at me. is good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very, very happy about, about doing tutorials now. And just learning things and going, okay, well, I'll just finish this tutorial. I don't care if it's good. I'll just do it and stick it out. Nice. And then suddenly it isn't that scary with GIMP. Mm. There you go. Um, S- still scary. Not as scary. Yeah. Um, I realize we got sidetracked, but are yeah, you? Sorry. So that's <laughs> immediately uh, threw a wrench into it. <laughs> it's okay. It's like my notebook is like an agenda. So like it's everything that yes. I'm doing that day, but it's not like anything more than just like a record of activities like yeah, are you doing here. that or are you doing like like today i felt like poop but i went for a walk <laughs> and that was better have you been reading my have you been reading my notes <laughs> <laughs> uh those are mostly it yeah or also just like logging like did this blah blah blah, blah check, checking doing the checklist things mm. And then every night before I go, to, or as I am in bed, I am doing the headspace sleep meditation, mm-hmm. where you lie down and then you take a few breaths and you feel your body just sinking into the mattress. That sounds lovely. And then you start mentally, you start your day over and go through what's happened in like 30 seconds to a minute, like the major ones during the day. Mm-hmm. And then you, you turn off your body, <laughs> where you mentally go through, you like your feet going, you're tired, you can sleep. Uh, calves, you're tired, you can sleep, kneecap, everything. Mm-hmm. And then you go, okay, now we're done for today. We can sleep. And it's been it's been doing good things. Wow. That sounds awesome. Um Yes. <laughs> we did uh we did yoga last night and it was a very similar vibe Ooh. to that where it was like yeah. sleepy time yoga. So it was all about like breathing techniques and then like slow yeah. stretching and like letting go and releasing. Did you the say day. soul stretching? Slow. <laughs> Slow. I thought it's like soul stretching, where you sl- stretch the boundaries of your soul into the gut. Yes. I mean, it was kind not, of. Okay, not, granted, it was kind of soul stretching. Like it was kind <laughs> of like that's kind of what you're doing. You're just like getting your body ready to go to sleep. Is that a phrase, or have we invented a new occupation? I'm a soul stretcher. I like it. I need to have Danny the Hamilton do a like a PR like his Biff Montgomery <laughs> voice talking about soul stretching. Guess what the name of the podcast is? <laughs> Hello and welcome to Soul Stretches. Today we're here to ease all aches of your body, mind, and soul. I have, there we go. I have definitely thought about like soul stretching. Yeah, <laughs> I've thought about doing like mindfulness stuff in and yes. around my streams, like. Oh, because oh, like I yes. have I have breathing on my stream, so we're already we'll we'll take time to like breathe together. Yeah. I usually breathe with you when you do that. It's very good. Yeah, it feels nice. <laughs> it feels like weirdly connective to everybody, 
but it did make me think it's about a this super like weird thing. Yeah. In the best way. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like you can't help it, but breathe along. It's like a communal breath all over the world where everyone goes. <gasps> <sighs> all of you listening to the podcast just breathed with us. I know yeah. you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was thinking about doing like a guided meditation for like at one stream, mm -hmm. but I also don't know how to like shoehorn that in. That's kind of my thing is that. Because it could also be like frightening for people going, I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah. Why, are, well, see, why is the dude sitting there going, you know, I want you to stretch your soul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, but that, it might be good. Yeah. But I know some people start meditating because of, of like we, us talking about, about it. That's amazing. And I think. Raina Mystique, mm -hmm. she does like proper meditation courses. Oh, right? that's neat. Yeah, I like... What's it called? What? Lessons? It, yeah, lessons, I would say. Um, yeah. It's just like guided meditation, right? Like it's uh, mindful yeah. mindfulness lessons. I'm not sure. Yeah, I just, I feel like for both of us, it fits that in with like what we're up to, like it being very what, like what calm <laughs> and whatever. Yeah. And like, oh, you obviously do a lot of meditating yourself. I do a ton of yoga, like a lot of yeah. like connectivity to the body. Um, it even kind of ties in with like the one question that I ask everyone on the cozy collab is to like name three things that you're grateful for. And, like, yeah. people often will say, you know, like, Twitch music and the Twitch community, which, like, yeah. is true, and that's fine to be grateful for that. But there is also, like, I like it when people think of other things in their life, because it forces you to think about things that you're grateful for, right? And yes. so, I've been kind of thinking about, like, how can I how can I wrap that into the stream as that well? That is cool. Of, of having, like, practicing, practicing gratitude. Who else was doing that? I, I read that also some other streamer has been doing that for like a year, which yeah. is a very good concept as well. Mm -hmm. Have you ever Just done like gratitude, gratitude practices? Yes. I've, I've been trying. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly I do. <laughs> but I mean, when it comes to mindfulness and stuff like that, it really comes down to also the voice of your teacher or like the, the rhythm or the, their speaking voice. Because some people, I've, I've tried listening to like guided meditations where I just wanted to leave my own body and the room and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> because it just like, it's like cheese grater. Uh, um, I don't know. I can't, I can't relax at all for some people's voices. Yeah. And then you hear the, the like the right one from you and you go, ah, okay. So that's how it works. I can just relax and do this instead of going, no, I don't want to relax. <laughs> I feel like you have a very soothing voice. I feel like I can have a very soothing <laughs> voice. I don't, I don't think I have a soothing voice by default. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either have a very soothing voice. I feel <laughs> very high pitched and, and, and fast talking. I guess. Not soothing. I, I could, but I think if you did it on purpose. Have we talked about the message you got, by the way? Which one? From one of our wonderful listeners <laughs> about <laughs> Which one? how they how they can't listen to the podcast late at night oh. <laughs> because they fall asleep to the sound of my voice. Yeah. I don't think we mentioned that. Um, we had a <laughs> some feedback. <laughs> But they they do really enjoy it, and it's nice that they're that they're listening. I'm very happy listening. if I can put. I don't care how I affect people. If I put you to sleep, I am a very happy man. <laughs> I don't care what the effect is I have on people. I just want to have an as effect long as I on someone. people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> because when people come in and we go, they also say that during streams, like you have such a soothing voice. Mm -hmm. I think you have a soothing voice. Absolutely. I only perceive myself as like a monkey. <laughs> when I have like the mental image of the stream, it's me going, <laughs> and then it's just doing weird stuff all the time. <laughs> and I don't see how anyone can be listening to me. Oh, this is so soothing. Oh, it is, Listen though. to that monkey cage. Oh, it's so soothing. Absolutely. I like... Ah, that's cool. I don't know. I think, I think there's times... There's obviously times for both of us where it's like you're talking more energetically and then that's that's different. Yeah. But I think I think we're we can both be be pretty pretty soothing and calm, I wanna <laughs> say. Yeah. I think I, I think we are in more in the in the cozy section of like if you look at people's energy levels mm -hmm. and like hype things. Yeah. I think we are both in the cozy soothing. Yes. Come in Did, take a load off. Have I told you that I found someone else that calls their stream the cozy corner? <laughs> Oh, yeah. I saw that last night at someone's stream. Yeah. I think. It made me feel weird. Like, the thing is, <laughs> I don't have... 
they, everyone uses Have your the lawyers words. Talk to their lawyers. Oh my god! <laughs> like every, it's more than like ev- like everyone calls their streams cozy or like a lot of people's do you know it's all about chill H-O vibes stream. good vibes the word vibes is used all the time i use it in like almost yeah. every stream title and i just can't find a better replacement for it but like it's that it's this this is a the mood. idea yeah it's a mood well maybe that's what i should do i should just call it mood uh instead of vibes but like i saw them a few weeks ago it was someone i didn't know i think they might have been like newish i don't remember i don't really remember all i remember is just like cat like seeing it and being like but i thought i had the cozy corner (laughs) it's more than it being a cozy corner like i i've very much built a show (laughs) around not being cozy yeah but you're the you're the original cozy yeah i know i'm not zero percent there's no no way (laughs) no way i'm not and that's why like i wasn't I'm not mad at this person. There's nothing. There's nothing against it. It was more just like caught me off guard for a second. I was like, oh, right. I guess. Uh, yep. Well, other people can also do this same thing. They, they can have the same. I do not own this concept or these words or anything. <laughs> yet, uh, you don't own them yet, but we will find a pattern. I'll trademark it. Just like, screw okay, everyone yeah. else over. Screw over the people who yeah. actually live in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be so good just living in a corner oh, oh. sounds cozy oh my god i it saw really cozy. i saw an ad a- <laughs> for like you want a beanbag chair there's corners you want a beanbag chairs sorry beanbag chairs yes oh do you know do you know what a beanbag chair is yes okay are are they as cozy as, as i'm led to believe they are they are quite cozy but they i saw an ad for one that was just gigantic i don't even know that it was beans but it was huge and the girl who was in it like she was like a full grown-ass woman in this beanbag chair in or or whatever it was just like a giant pillow beanbag sofa but it like encompassed her like almost entirely like she had just like sunk into the middle of it and she had like a blanket and i just looked at it i'm like i I I want to be you. I wish I had room in my house for this like really specifically large cushion thing. Like there's no way I could put it, it would, anywhere in my apartment. It would be ideal to stream from if you didn't have to use your hands. Yeah. <laughs> or sit up in any way. Like laying down playing guitar inside a beanbag. Oh my god. <laughs> like, oh, just is, uh, just every angle would be wrong. Speaking of beanbags and cozy things, mm-hmm. uh, have you tried a weighted blanket? Not yet. Have you? Have we talked about this before? I don't think so. I don't so. think we have. No. <laughs> We've talked so much, and we talk so much, like, off camera as well, or off recording. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we bought, my mom bought, I think me, or fell, a weighted blanket a few Christmases ago. It then fell, of course, being the wife. She she took it. Mm-hmm. If there's something comfy in this apartment or cozy, like my sweaters, <laughs> like my hoodies, they are hers. Yes. That's the international <laughs> so rule she, so of, she, of marriage. I hope you yes. realize that. Okay. Yeah. I, I fully... As I long intend, as you're aware. I, I don't say, and I, I, I uh, jab at her for mm-hmm. it uh, lovingly all the okay. time. Okay. Uh, so, but so she bought, so she got like the nine kilos, seven kilos, mm-hmm. uh, which is what is it, like 14 pounds in freedom units. Sure. Uh, and it's very, very cozy. And then I bought one for myself at, uh, <clears throat> at 11 kilos. Four. And I have that on the couch. 14 pounds. It is so good, Alana. That's a lot. It's just being, yes, but you're getting snuggled. It's like, oh, it's, oh. That sounds like, amazing. Ha- ha- I'm guessing it's sort of like having Clive on you. Yeah, that's that's literally what I was just of, thinking of. Like, it's kind yeah. of like being cuddled. And luckily, like, my dog doesn't like to actually cuddle with me. So it would be <laughs> like having a dog that actually wants to cuddle with you. Yeah. <laughs> Is he a non-cuddler, uh-huh. Clive? Oh. He's a very selective cuddler. So, like, he will cuddle with you. <laughs> oh. But for short bursts. And on his terms. On his own terms. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, whereas, like, what... our friend's dog, they have a uh, a Bernese Mountain Dog Poodle mix. A Bernadoodle, oh. as they're known. And he is just the biggest, 
like cuddle slut ever. Like it doesn't matter who it is or where they are. He wants to like have his head on you or his body on you or his paws on you or like his whole body. And he's huge. He's like 80 pounds. And he, Jesus Christ. yeah, and he'll just be on you, and it's great, and, and I and around. I love it. But he, yeah, it's you feel special, but you also don't because you know that this is just oh. how he is. Whereas, like, if Clive you cuddles sa- with you, savor you, the moment. Yeah, Cl- yeah, Clive cuddles with you, like that's a big deal. That's a, the like you've been you've been selected, you've been chosen for this honor. <laughs> we had a, a rescue dog growing up. Uh, and and her previous owners didn't really they shouldn't have had a dog. Oh, and they got her at the same time that they got their third ki- their third kid, mm. and she was a Jack Russell Terrier. Uh-oh. They are not really good with infants. Yeah, so they kept her in the in the kitchen underneath the kitchen table in her little what's it called like crate crate yeah. And if she came up, they kicked her to go back into the crates. That's uh, horrible. <laughs> So she wasn't very friendly to to other people. Yeah. And when we and, and but she loved my mom. Uh, and for the rest of us, she would just uh, growl mm-hmm. all the time. It would be a constant. <laughs> so she would sound like a coffee brewer. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and it just became like her default setting. Yeah. If you came near her, she would growl. But you could pet her, and she would like come snuggle up to you whilst growling. <laughs> She's like, I don't know that I want this. I'm going to make sure that you know that I don't know if this is what I yes, want. Yes, I am doing this for your it. sake, human. Yes. Um, my. She was stupid and awesome. That's the hilarious. I have you ever been bit by a dog before? No. Before are you are you seeking dogs on me? no <laughs> dogs? <laughs> don't answer like the door. There's, 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 there's someone knocks on the door gonna, in the next five minutes. Have you been minutes, bitten by a dog before in the segment? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I've had the good fortune not to. <laughs> have you been bitten by a dog uh, before? Only only this? once, um, but it did like so uh, a long time ago, four score and twenty years ago. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just before I started working out. at Ubisoft, um, I was going through like a super bad, like depressive episode and we didn't have Clive yet, but there were dogs in our building and I was like, oh. I'm going to put up a poster and just say like, I will walk your dogs. At the time I was only no. teaching. So I was only busy in the evenings, but I was just home all day and I was like, I'll walk I your dogs for up. like dirt cheap because yeah. I don't care. Like, I'm just happy to go and like be with a dog for a little while um so i started i started walking dogs and then there was one like most of them were like super super sweet like really lovely smaller dogs there was one rottweiler that i used to walk but she was also super sweet like massive yeah super sweet but yeah oh yeah yeah. her name was lila she was great um (laughs) but there was one woman who had a chihuahua and the chihuahua was not very friendly specifically to like new people or when it was in its crate so it also had a crate um but the crate was really small and like there's nothing wrong with crate training a dog it's actually like really good for the dog just don't kick your dogs when they come out of the crate anyways yes um i don't even remember what this dog's name was can we just summarize this don't kick your dogs yeah please don't kick your dogs um so i had to go like get this dog and the girl was like, oh, just like she might be a little nasty with you to come out of the crate. She's just really shy. Just like try and use treats and like coax her out of the crate. Mm-hmm. But she also had like a harness. And like, oh. I knew not to put my hands in the crate. I'm like, yeah, this is just not something <laughs> that you do. Yeah. Um, but she just would not come out of the crate. I had like peanut butter and like really fancy <laughs> treats. And I also on this particular day. So I'd gotten her out before and she'd been okay. And like, once she was out, she was fine with me. Like we had a totally fine time, but just getting her out of the crate was a nightmare. And this on this particular day, I was going to be late for like, I had to go and teach. I had cut myself Uh. short on time thinking that she would be pretty quick to like get out. So I couldn't like sit beside the crate and wait for her to get comfortable with me to come out. So I tried to coax her. I get the harness and I put the harness, I get the harness over her head in the crate 
and I get one yeah. of her paws through the hole and I'm like, okay, like, so you're kind of okay with me, like having my hands like in your crate. But then I went to go and like snap the harness shut, which is like just behind oh. the head of the dog. And I couldn't oh, get no. it. Like I, it was, I was like struggling with it. And she, I guess just like lost her patience with me and just like, Argh! and like, like just turned really fast and like snapped at my hand, oh, like got like the like meat of my thumb in her mouth. And the worst yeah. part was I also was like, as soon as she did that, I was also like actively like pulling my hand away. So she'd like bit and then I pulled at the same <laughs> the, time. Yeah. Oh, perfect um, conditions for it. Yeah, no. it hurt. It hurt real bad. And then I had to like have the unfortunate conversation of like, hi, I couldn't take your dog out today. She bit me when I tried to get her out of the crate. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't take the money you this left for me. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, that's my very long Were story. Were you okay with dogs after that? Or did you have like, did that... I was a little nervous after that, just yeah. mainly about operating behind dogs' heads. <laughs> yes, just ever like understand. it was mainly like if I had to put the harness on a dog or like do anything that was in that range of like yeah. they're not looking at me. I was definitely afraid for a while of them like spinning around and snapping. <laughs> I can at me. see with a dog, sir. I am now putting both hands. Behind. Literally, I would like yes. talk them through it or yeah. like like. So with horses, hey, gonna, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with horses, you have to like pat them as you move around the back of them so they don't kick you. Yeah, so they are aware of yeah, yeah, so you don't scare them. And like that's what I started no. kind of doing with dogs is I would just like pat my way down their back, like I'm still here. I think that's a good. That's a good, if if you know fellow humans that allow you to touch them, that's also a good way to like. Hello, I am here. It's <laughs> yep. everything's fine. Yep, yep. Just pat along their back as you walk by. We had an incident with our dog, though, and, and biting. Uh, my mom's friend came to visit one night out of the blue. Uh, and she brought along her dog, which was a Great Dane. Oh. And that thing was like, it was like having a mini horse mm -hmm. suddenly in the apartment. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that dog was, did was run into our kitchen, start eating out of our dog's, our dog's uh, food bowl. Yep. Which was no, <laughs> no bueno for our dog. So she started barking. Whereas this grand, grand lady just slapped her, her jaw around our dog. And then my mom, who is five feet, just sprung upon the dog, <laughs> landed on his back, pulled up both of the, the front legs, and bit the dog in the neck. What? As to make it submit. <laughs> <laughs> this took all of like 30 seconds and I was standing there with a glass of milk just going what the actual <laughs> but then the dog was completely just okay nope no, nope, fuck this yeah wow my mom is some sort of superwoman she, she is <laughs> that's amazing oh my god <clears throat> it was something to behold <laughs> I, I think that great name was like outweighed her. Yeah. Or if if it would have stood up, it would have been taller. Oh my god. Wanda. I still remember the name of that stupid dog. Wanda. <laughs> what was the name of your dog? Jackie. Jackie. Yes, it was a Jack mm -hmm. Russell. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we didn't name her. That was oh, the, okay. that was the name she came <laughs> equipped with. <laughs> Did you have? We had a. Oh. We had a. Sorry. What, I think you're going to answer oh. the question that I was about to ask, so you should just yeah. keep talking. <laughs> if we had any pets prior yeah. to that dog, or yeah, yes, yeah, so we lived in a in we lived in our own house. We had a two story house, and uh, we had a cat, a stray cat that adopted my brother. My brother was very allergic to cats, mm. <laughs> but this cat would approach my brother as he was sitting outside in, in the in the yard, and they'd be friends. And then my dad said, "Oh, we can't have the cat, but I'll, I'll leave some food out for him." And my mom said, if you do that, we'll have a cat. That is how you get cats. You, <laughs> you leave food and then they go, oh, here, here's food. Mm -hmm. uh, so my dad put out food for the cat. And then uh, then winter came and my dad said, oh, well, he can sleep in the basement. And my mom said, okay, he'll only sleep in the basement then. Cool. <laughs> so one week later, cat was now living downstairs. <laughs> and then we got the dog and we, we all heard like the, oh, cats and dogs don't go together. Our our cat was standing in the in the in the staircase when the dog came in and just went like like a lion's roar, <laughs> doubled in size, just went. <laughs> and the dog went. Yep. Okay. Fine. This is your house. Whatever you want is fine with me. <laughs> I won't. And they became the best of friends. Great. Which was super. Yep. I love them both. That's awesome. I miss having pets. Yeah. Can you not have pets in I your building? I do not miss to work. No, there are no pets here. Or you, I think you're allowed to have pets, but 
I just feel weird having a dog in this small apartment. Mm. Uh, which if we, if we move to a house, we'll, we'll, we'll get a dog. And, and my mom is going to get a dog soon, I guess. And I will have to <laughs> dog sit for her, mm-hmm. which I'm looking forward to. That's nice, though. Yeah. Dogs are I, great. I, I do not miss the late night walks with a dog. The, okay, the dog has to go out. Okay. Th- at least three or four times a day going, okay, well... <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, especially living in an apartment, having a dog is a pain. And like, we've never lived somewhere yeah. with Clive that we haven't had to go in an elevator or like go down the stairs. Like, we've never had a backyard that we can just like open up. Because that is incredible. Outside. When we have yeah. it, we're just going, if you just need to pee, just cut in the yard. Yeah, and, we'll and that way it's like, you know, you've been for a couple of walks today and then for your final pee. You yeah. can just go outside, and that's easier. But like, we can't do it that. It is such a weird concept, having to have an animal that you walk outside. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I never thought about it before, but it just hit me now that it's such a weird thing. It's very weird. Then we have a domesticated fur ball, yeah, that we take outside to do its business. Oh yeah, whilst watching. Going, who's a good boy? Oh yeah. As, every once in a while, yeah. we look at Clive and we're like, "You're an animal." Yes. You just live in our house. Yeah. Like, it's so you weird. You have no say in this. No. You were brought into this house. Yeah. We gave you a name. You did not. You're just. An, yeah. 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 It's a. Uh, they're super happy about it. It's very it. weird. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, Clive, Clive lives a blessed existence. Like, he's currently he is a very sleeping on our little bed. He's a gentleman. He's. He, he gets good food. He gets lots of walks. Like, he gets a lot of good music, and he likes to, it's true. It's true. to sleep inside in on the couch as you're streaming. Mm-hmm. And which is a good sign, I guess. What, what is funny is sometimes he'll like jump down in the middle of a song, and everyone on stream will be like, "Oh, Clive had enough. Like Clive couldn't take it anymore." Yeah. But the truth is, he's jumped off the couch and is now laying flat beside my piano bench, but you can't see him on the camera, so he's actually gotten so he's closer just... than he was before. <laughs> he just doesn't want to be on the couch anymore. Is that his little pillow I see in the background? Yeah. Yeah. The Clive pillow? Yeah. Nice. It's those pillows are fully there for Clive's purposes. Like my <laughs> my friend um she watches my streams a lot and she came over at one point and she was like she went into the office specifically to prop the pillows up because I always leave the pillows flat. And she oh, went and she yeah. passed, she's like, It makes me crazy. Your pillows are always just flat. And I'm like, they're for Clive. <laughs> Like, they're flat because they have to be, because otherwise he won't sleep on them. And so I'm trying to let him be as cute and cozy as possible. living a blessed life, the little dog. (laughs) Yes. He has specific pillows for him that you leave down for him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's partially for him and it's partially for the people on stream. Because if he can get cozy, he'll stay. And people like it when Clive is there. Whereas if he can't get cozy, then he's less likely to hang around. So it's a win-win situation. He gets to be cozy, and the stream gets to hang out with Clive. That's perfect. Yeah. I mean, speaking of blessed life, I built a lot of dumb shit as a kid mm-hmm. <laughs> for our cat. Okay. <laughs> so we we just had well, we had a two-story house. Mm-hmm. So first door was kitchen, yeah. but it was like a way up with the windows. So and and I didn't like think that oh cats can jump they they've had this innate ability for, for forever mm-hmm. and I thought I need to build him a ramp ah <laughs> so little Theo went to to work with hammer and nails and like, I think I was seven or eight in my dad's supervision and he went okay well okay if you want if you want this outside the window sure <laughs> and the cat take, took one look at it going no no no, no. <laughs> and it just jumped up on the windowsill I went okay oh, oh yeah of course. <laughs> It was amazing. It is It is funny we little having, kid brains, though. Like, that's so <laughs> logical. One Christmas we were having, uh, me, and my, me and my mom were sitting in the kitchen. So it was outside the kitchen, it was just like a little back, a backyard in the backyard. So it was like a little fence okay. thing. Okay. Like an enclosed area of the, of the backyard. We both felt someone eyeing us, like had this sensation that someone was watching we looked outside, and the cat was wanting, wanting to get inside, but he sat on the fence, and he was covered in snow, <laughs> so he had like a cape. <laughs> all dressed, he was black, but he was all dressed in white with a little top hat of white, <laughs> just sitting there looking extremely. The cats have that remarkable expression of going, "I, I am not fine with this. You will have hell to pay for this <laughs> later on, human." As soon as I get inside that door, 
Uh, but he was, he was the nicest ever. That's so cute. He would purr if you looked at him. Aww. So, like, you had you look at your cat, your cat would purr at you, and you'd look at your dog, and your dog yeah. would growl at you. <laughs> and you yeah. were like, I'm so loved. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She might have been inspired by the cat. There might be, that might have been. It. I wonder. Thought, I wonder oh, if she I was actually purr. growling. She was just purring. She was like, "This is what <laughs> how it means I love you." <laughs> it's just scarier. Yeah. This is adoration. Yeah. Uh, my mom is also very allergic to cats, but we oh. had. Uh, so we used to live up north, uh, like when I was really little, yeah. and we had multiple stray cats just come to our door. And as a kid, I was like, that's magic. <laughs> um, we had three different, we had three different cats come uh, and try to like oh. live with us. So like two of them would go to like, we had like family friends who needed like mousers for their, their farms. Ah, so yeah. we sent them there. Um, and then no. the third one actually just ended up staying and living with my grandparents after we moved. Um, but they never wow. were allowed in the house. They were just like outdoor cats. And then we would, yeah. we would feed them and. They would do their they thing. They are such strange creatures. Mm -hmm. I love cats. I like cats too. I just don't trust cats. Cats yeah, sketch no, no, me no, out. No, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love how how they are like because dogs are super subservient. Yeah, and you can teach them things. Cats would just go, uh, uh. Yeah, I want so I badly. I stay though. with you for as long. I want to try and train a cat though. I want to get a cat and I want to see because I've like, I did some reading and apparently you can you train so cats. Weird. You can. You can teach uh, yeah, them how I, to do yeah, things. Yeah, I think you can train anything with treats and going positive reinforcements, yeah. but I don't think you can control a cat in the same way you can. No, I think you I can don't train so. a cat to accept some of the things you want to do. Yes. <laughs> Whereas you can command a dog, you That's can true. ask a cat, that, yeah, <laughs> and they will take it under consideration and go, "Yes, human for this." I like yes. that you can command a dog and you can ask a cat. Oh, that's great. There's uh, Eddie Isard mm -hmm. is one of my favorite comedians, and he had a bit about Pavlov's dogs. Yeah, and he then that Pavlov tried Pavlov's cats as well, but I believe Eddie Isard uses she pronouns now. Yes. She, yeah, that might be true. Um, I think she might have changed this year. I think it was it year. was relatively recent. I'm just going to make sure. I just don't want to... Does she still use the same name? Yes. Yeah, good on, good on you. Um, yes. So it's still Eddie Issard, but she. she. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Yes, it is uh, she. Is she the has preferred a bit. Pronouns. <laughs> About Paolo's cats, yes. which is one of my favorite segments of stand-up ever. I've, I've cried myself... Silly oh, to listen to that. Yes. For those of you listening to this, the homework assignment is <laughs> YouTube Pavlos, Eddie Isard Pavlos Cats, and you will have a fun time. Yes. Um, Eddie Isard is also one of Michelle. my favorite comedians, has been for, for a very long time. She is amazing. Yes. Yes. Um, and apparently she doesn't write a script. It's all kept in her head. Mm-hmm. Which is wild. Which is mind-boggling. Yeah. But also answers a lot of the questions of, like, why does she go into rants about the I hang lied, he, she hang lied, did, did. <laughs> <laughs> And the whole bit about horses and glue when, when she is in France mm -hmm. is also amazing. I like, uh. um, I like some of her old stuff about, like, um, uh, the terms and services in iTunes. Um, oh. and just how no one ever reads that. <laughs> and it was, yeah. it's very, very, very funny. Um, I haven't, I haven't watched some, any stand up in a really, really long time, actually. I am so looking forward to going and seeing stand up live. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh my you God. went to a movie theater this week. Did that end up happening? <laughs> no, I, I, I stayed, I, I stayed at home. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I went to it, to a pub on Tuesday. Wow. <clears throat> To an open mic. Wow. With one of one of our, our uh, community members. It was a lot of fun. That's really cool. We met up for drinks. Yeah. Did you and sing? I some music. Yes, I sang. Nice. <laughs> it was super awkward and weird uh, and, and wonderful. Yeah. But like, <laughs> how do you do with eye contact now when you sing? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> when you're on stage, how do you talk? What? 
How do you Before stage? Before this was like second nature to me. Yeah. I was more on stage than uh, that was always. Oh, I never even thought about like, oh, I, should I play a song? How do I do it? It was just second nature. Yeah. And now, do I, am I, am I staring at this peop, these people? Should I, are they worried now? <laughs> It was also weird not having like proper. Mo- I'm so, I've never in my life before this used like monitoring headphones. Yeah, while playing gigs, I've been using like the the speakers, just judging if mm-hmm. if it sounds good. Yep, yep. <laughs> and now that I'm so spoiled with headphones <laughs> <laughs> and knowing exactly what's happening, mm-hmm. I just stand and go, "Oh, I don't know what am I? Am I loud enough? Am I energetic enough? Am I?" Yeah, it was fun. Ten out of ten would would sing again on, in front of a live ostrich. I would, <laughs> I would, uh, I would love to to do something that's like casual like that. I think I've thought a lot. I know we we keep talking about like live gigs, and I keep thinking about it, yeah. and then like talking myself into it, and then talking myself out of it again. <laughs> but I think you should you should just apply for something. Just send out some feelers and go. <sighs> <laughs> And, and and don't stream it. Don't, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna anything. stream it. I I just, just don't keep know. The pressure off. Just go out and play some songs. Yeah, I just, it's just such a different environment here. I would have to like find places that are even having live music and find places that have live music that's not like a show show. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Because Toronto is much more into like I'm playing at this time and this is the Dorothy and oh. this is it's a Atlanta Maddie show and it's but, like I don't want to play at Atlanta Maddie <laughs> show. I just want to go play music somewhere. You want to hang out with with people and play some songs? Yeah, yeah. that's exactly it. So like an IRL stream thing, like having the audience. <laughs> yeah, but like at that point, why it's bother? It's also super weird. Not reading chat whilst whilst singing. Yeah, I found that I bet that. Going, Where? I was talking to Ghost about this last night. That like, oh. so we all know Alana is burnt out. It's fine. Um, I've been feeling better now that the vinyl's done, but I feel nice. like my brain has been very actively reminding me that I'm not okay lately. Where yeah. like. I will literally feel my brain hitch on something and like, like it's like almost like a physical sensation sensation of my brain. Just like that is the word of today. Sensation. Yes. There we go. Sensation. That soul stretching sensation. Soul stretching. Yes. yes. (laughs) You both did the same thing at the same time. Oh no. Uh, uh. (sighs) Anyway. There we Very go. Very good. Very good. Um, so, so your brain hitches and my, you can feel the Yeah, my sensation. brain hitches and I can feel it happening. Um, and it just made me think about, like, when you are streaming music, and at least, like, especially for me, because I'm doing the looping stuff and especially doing live learn. So I'm learning a song, I'm looping yes. the song, I'm playing yes. the instruments. I'm planning yes. what I'm going to loop next. I'm timing yes. everything out. I'm reading yes. chat. Yes. And I'm reading lyrics and chords. Yes. And you're not picking your notes. No. And I'm also trying to make sure I don't look like a doof on camera, but I don't pay attention exactly. to that you quite as all... much. But it's like, there's there's a lot. There are some, some, some yeah. <laughs> The, the task manager in your head, if you had a Windows task manager, <laughs> going, what is happening? Yeah, CPU overload. There are so many things happening yeah. during a stream. Yeah. If you're reading chat at the same time, it's incredible. I don't know where that comes from, <laughs> that brain power. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no, I have no sense. And like that's the other thing is that and, I'd like to play live, and I would really like to loop. I, I would really like that oh, to yeah. be something that I that I could do. But couldn't you just bring the the <clears throat> the push too? I don't know. I don't know if it will work. I like I would have to put everything on like a laptop, I oh, think. Oh yeah, of course. You would have to have a computer as oh, well yeah, as the push. Oh. Which like okay, that yeah. yeah, that's kind <laughs> of a bummer. And like it's not it's not too big of a deal because like my setup could be very small like if I have a laptop yeah. and then like an audio interface out that just goes into the board the, for the yeah. the venue and then i can have my push because i don't really have to look at the laptop i can just have the push in front of yeah, me exactly. i can do yeah. everything from the push 
And so like that would be that would be fine. It's just having to like like Ghost has a laptop, but I would feel weird being like, I'm just gonna take your laptop. Can I can I just borrow? Yeah, can I just borrow this? Um Yeah. So I don't know. It's something I think well, about. It's just I think up. it'd be cool. I think it'd be a neat yeah. addition to playing live is being able to like do that live looping. And like I could always get you know that Numb the Geek has my looper pedal? Did you know this? Oh, no, I did not know this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's his now. But, like, when I got yeah. Ableton, I had an RC300, like, foot looper pedal. Oh. Um, yeah. And I wasn't going to be using it anymore because I was using Ableton. And so I just surprised Kevin and I mailed it to his house. Oh, um, that is wonderful. Yeah, and it's, like, one of the what best investments I've ever made because he's... Yeah. absolutely incredible with it and uh yeah. far better than i am kevin is, sure. is incredible he is um if you guys don't know who numb the geek is you you absolutely should but i've like i know i could ask it for i could ask for it back if i wanted to i don't want to <laughs> i don't want it back Out of curiosity, did you loop a lot before twitch no i didn't loop at all really loop? no, no okay. i never looped never before twitch so i've played plenty of shows without looping but now that i know how yeah, and now that you play, and as you said before, you didn't play keys, really? Mm, no, not at all, because like I don't gigs? have a keyboard that is, like, mobile. I almost said transportable, yeah. <laughs> which I guess is the same idea. It's not quite the same thing. <laughs> so I, I guess you have your, your, new, your new stream investments done here now, then. A laptop and a, a portable keyboard. Yeah. Um, it's a so down the so road thing. For the... It's just like because yeah. I'm not like prioritizing live gigs. There's no reason to spend that money, you know. And like I do have no, a laptop that true. that's old, but I think it could probably do what I need it to do. I'm not asking, not asking yeah, that much, much of it. How much CPU and, and and memory would you use to just do like without streaming? That's what I was thinking. It's like without streaming, I feel like it would probably yeah. be okay off of like a an older laptop like i have an old macbook that we've had for like six seven yeah, years if it just needs to like do the things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i mean like i have options that i could try if... yeah. cool and there are so many things <laughs> Dude, there's... Dude, uh, i can't even grasp like the things i've picked up this year or since i started streaming mm -hmm. like the technical things i've learned using software Learning about hardware, learning about cameras, lenses, microphones, watching hours upon hours upon hours of these are the products you should buy. Yeah. I going, finally okay. replaced my danger tripod. So that's been my most uh, yes, recent I saw investment. Pictures. It is much better. I do need to adjust my, my camera angle a little bit. It works fine, but it is currently a yeah. lot of forehead. Which is easy for me oh. because I happen to have a lot of forehead. And when wow. I first started streaming, someone came in and they're like, music's really good. Shame about the forehead, though. Wow. And you still remember this? I still phrase. remember it. Yes. But only because, like, I know this. Like, I, I'm not ashamed of my forehead. It's not my best quality. But, like, I know it's there. I know it's large. It's fine. I'm... I'm we all have foreheads. We do all, in fact, have foreheads. But it was just this guy being like, Hopefully. oh, did you know you have such a such a large forehead? It's like, I think my, my reaction literally afterwards was like, oh. <laughs> I need to hide Where it. did it go? Hide the shame. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'd like to adjust my camera angle a little bit, but it's easier now because I have a system yes. that I can do that with. So. That's and you exciting. can see more of your your keys. I can see I'm my doing this keyboard. Most stupid hand movement I've ever done in my life. It's like an upside crab. It's an upside down <laughs> crab, uh, or like you're like looks like you're playing really fast guitar. Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's also the sound that makes it apparently. <laughs> 100 percent that's the sound that makes to, to, to clue you listeners into what's happening visually it's yeah if you would like to if you would like to wiggle your hand along with us it's a very much put your arm in the air let your hand hang down and then wiggle, wiggle your like fingers you a lot <laughs> you all just did it and that's great that's the second time yes, we've all done something correct. together today we are incepting your brains yes we're in there um this feels like a good place to segue because I don't know how we got here, or where we're going from here. <laughs> I'll just stir up the shit. 
I was just about to ask because I have a question or yes. a, a segue as well. Yes. Or th- okay, we'll see how this. If we might be having the we same might way. have the same we'll segue. See. We've done that twice today, so. <laughs> because I was thinking about since I met people on on Tuesday, you met people on Monday. I did. Who did you meet? I got to meet Courtney Visser, who is a wonderful streamer. She lives in the UK. She's from South Africa. Um, and she, her partner is from the States, but they're not allowed to travel from the UK into the States. So they had to come and stay in Canada for two weeks before being oh, able to go to the is States. is that why? Yeah. Um, which I hadn't realized <laughs> until, uh, she was here. Oh, so are they like quarantining in Canada? Ki- but like kind of quarantining in Canada. I mean, to be fair, like our cases are very, very low here. So yeah. even without quarantining in your house, you're kind of quarantining because... Yeah. A lot of people are vaccinated. <laughs> Most people are vaccinated. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but it was really lovely. I got to, like, I just drove her around the city a whole bunch and, like, took her wow. through different neighborhoods. We went and had a lovely lunch. And then uh, the four of us, so my partner and her partner, we all met up and, and had dinner. And they came over and played a board game. And it was really, it was really, really nice. I am 100% jelly. <laughs> You're welcome <laughs> anytime. <laughs> Yes, I'll, I'll have to come over to, to, to Canada. Mm-hmm. I'll have to set a date. Yes. So you, you played, but yeah, but you've met different other streamers before in, in, in real life. I have. But not European I, streamers, perhaps? I think she's the first European streamer that I've met. Who's come yes. over to like yes. stateside. Yeah. yeah. And it, it, what is interesting and so heartwarming for me in like in talking to her i kind of realized this and i i'd known it before but i was i was the first streamer that she had met um oh. which was like oh my gosh like i'm like it feels like an honor yeah. um but it also just made me really take a moment to appreciate like the friends that i have made on this platform and like obviously yeah. that was already ob- that was obvious from the like a song for our love um shindig was like wild (laughs) wild 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 but just you know having someone come here and like there's a lot of streamers in toronto that she probably could have reached out to but i'm the only one that she's friends with and so like it was really i don't know it feels nice it just feels good to like have someone like you enough that they're like yeah you want to hang out i'm like yeah i want to hang out (laughs) we can hang out that'd be nice and it's real people yeah um it's just incredible yeah who did you hang out with did I hang out with a streamer? You said you hung out with someone. Oh, I hang, I hung out with a, a dude from who's been hanging out in my streams uh, yesterday. I had I had some beers with him in in August, mm-hmm. and now we met up again. That's amazing. It was fun. Yeah. He used to be. He's a, he's an awesome dude, and he used to host festivals out of out out of his house. Mm. <laughs> uh, and he's also been like a roadie apparently, and hung out with Motorhead. Neat. Met Lemmy. <laughs> uh, and he said he was very skilled at or like he he excelled in getting musicians to the point they needed to be when they needed to be there okay like getting the specific. band there on time oh okay i thought you meant like I, yeah, like I, I, metaphysically like getting someone where no, they no, no, need no. to be when they <laughs> no, need to be there and i was like he was, wow <laughs> 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 no, he was more of like a bus but he was like the tour manager yeah, thing yeah and and we conclude that guiding musicians is like uh, what did he say? Vala Kater. Uh sheep like herding cats. Called? Shepherding. Herding cats. There thank you. you mean, that was the weirdest how you could get Vala Kater into herding cats. Yeah, yeah, there we go. What is the direct the money, what is the direct translation from that? That is uh, hurting cats. Oh, I got it. <gasps> yes, you got the exact word I was yes! looking for from my from moon language. Yay! Yes, it's nice. Did it. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Um, but it was fun hanging out with him and, and having a few beers and talking about. It. Yeah. Just seeing people in real life mm-hmm. that you've only met through the internet is incredible. Um, it was interesting. So, like, I've met a number of, of different streamers. I've streamed with, um, yeah. like, Rame, who's Rame, from Toronto. Yeah. I met Andy. Um, obviously, I've streamed with, like, Danny Hamilton. Um, ah, yes. Uh, but him and I were friends before, so, like, that feels... Kel? <laughs> that feels different. Also Kel, also streamer, but her and I have known each other for, like, 20 years, yeah. so that's also different. <laughs> Um, I thought I was like majorly exaggerating when I said 20 years, but I think we have known each other for like 15 years now, which is a long time. That is quite a while. Yeah. We went to high school together. 
Um, wow. Yeah. So it's been it's been some time, but I've never met a community member. But Courtney's partner oh. is Sigma yeah. Squared, who is yes. also just like a very active like Twitch. Um, he music is. We were supposed to meet on. last year. They were they were supposed to come to Sweden. Oh, nice. Yes, um, but th there were restrictions. Yeah, sadly. Yeah, um, but they're both lovely, I was and it was looking forward to it. it was very neat. Yes. To, it was neat to talk to someone like he did stream music for a while as well. So like he he yeah. also knows the streamer side. But it was the first time I'd met like. A community member. It was neat, like, see, like having them like walk into like my streaming room, and you could kind of see them both just yeah, kind of feel going, like, oh, this is really. That was neat. the weird. I I met Richard last year. Yes, I went up to yes. Strumstad to hang out with I'm Richard, yeah. uh, and I met Mickey Hay. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that was also like the weirdest thing because Mickey was kind enough to pick me up at the train station from another town. Nice. And then when we, then we drove to Richard, yeah. which was like an hour's drive. And just like seeing Mickey Hay in the flesh, <laughs> what you're you're real? Yeah. And then we met up with Richard, and we all just stood outside of the car, looking at each other, going, "Well, this is something. <laughs> you all exist, apparently. It's just not a fever dream." Yeah, that's like. And then we went home to Richard's. Yeah. And we went into his to his man cave, mm -hmm. and like seeing that stream space, going, "I've I've I've spent countless hours watching this." <laughs> yeah it's incredible yeah it's weird being on the other side of that like having someone walk into your streaming space yeah. and being like okay, i can imagine oh yeah. my god um yeah it's 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 wild but it's really cool and like that's kind like i am not excited for twitchcon to come back because covid is terrifying and i don't think they should rush it but i am excited for twitchcon for the experience of going and looking around yes. and being able to be like, oh, oh my God. Here's the, there's that person. Or like, oh my gosh, yeah. there's that oh person. <laughs> and like, just being able to to like go and walk up to people and, and say hi and, and meet them. I think it's going to be wild. Oh, it's going to be wild. Especially because there hasn't been one for two years. Like by yeah. the time there's another one, it will have Are been Are you coming to Ireland, by the way? I don't have I told you know about this? yet. You, don't okay. know yet. you don't know yet. But you 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 have been informed that oh, the yeah. Lumineers are playing in Dublin. Yeah, the uh, the what of the what? Mm -hmm. Wait, the whom? The the Lumineers? Yes, 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 yes. Um, With Gregory Allen as yes, are playing in Dublin. Yes, um, I yeah, I talked to Kian about it. Um, yeah. I looked at flights. I got to the point of like almost buying tickets to the show. I, it's just with COVID. Ooh. I don't. It's difficult for me to yeah. make a plan right now and say like. Well, I guess it's still it's that. still a few months away. I'm still also holding out hope that. Mm. If I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Maybe we'll talk. Maybe we'll convince each other one way or the yeah. other. <laughs> Cause it would be so much fun going to Dublin again yeah. and just meeting people yeah. and seeing Greg Allen's cough. Yeah. I don't care that much for the Lumineers. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I like them, I guess, but I haven't listened that much to them. Yeah. I like, I like but both it, of them Gregory's. a lot, but um, yeah, I don't know. But like meeting people and, and Ireland, <laughs> like the setting yeah and it, i haven't been there since i was 15 i think for me if i do go it's gonna be a bigger thing like i think it's gonna have yeah. to be a like i'm coming to europe and i'm gonna go and yeah. see a bunch of people <laughs> <laughs> Alana coming you know? to europe yeah exactly <laughs> it's february it's not yeah. just gonna be like a jet out to ireland and then, then coming home maddie as well yeah yeah that's wow i would well there's like a bunch of i'd love like the fact that you might be there is really cool i was gonna like my thought was like if i'm coming i might just ask about coming to sweden anyway yes. um just while i'm on the continent Do i should be doing yes. as much as possible just scoot over to sweden yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're just next door yeah oh yeah i we've talked about yeah. how bad my world geography is <laughs> you could be right and i wouldn't know i know you're not right i know that they don't. It, it isn't it isn't that but, far but it's not there yeah. are very like it's so much you fly it's like a quick. six and a half hour flight for me to get to ireland that isn't that, which isn't terrible yeah. um i think i'm right i think it's a two hour flight from copenhagen to the, i don't know I should probably also Google this. We're both going to do a Google segment. Two, Two hours, hours later. later. <laughs> so I wanted to bring up, a, it was actually a different segue. Your segue was also good. Oh. <laughs> but I do have, I did have a different segue because we've been wanting to talk about this for a really, really, really long time. And we keep not talking Ooh. about it, but I feel like I keep clapping. 
to accentuate my words, <laughs> but little little claps. Yeah, um, I feel like it's a <laughs> good time. Segment. Yeah, I feel like it's a good time to talk about it because there was kind of just an event, and I think it's like a recurring event that ties in. Oh, mm-hmm. yes, I, see. I think I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, we wanted to talk about game shows. <laughs> Not necessarily game like shows, but like yeah, <laughs> like music competitions and yeah. uh, and stuff like that. We had a, a viewer question uh, asking about what our thoughts uh, were on on competitions in music, and uh, there is a new show that Twitch is currently running uh, called the Twitch Open Mic. Uh, we are unsure yes. as to if it's invite only or if it is uh, an application or what the you situation send an application. is. Is it an application now? Okay. You go to Twitch Music's um, Twitch page and then there's a level thing where okay. you can fill Maybe out I'll go look into it. So I'm torn on it because on one hand, I think it's really cool. I think it's a really cool opportunity. Yes. And I really love that it's like hosted by people that are in the music section, like Raquel yeah, and Leon, Leon Brat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Who like obviously know music streaming like super well. Um, yeah. And like everyone that's been on the show is obviously really cool. I just hate that it's a competition, Theo. <laughs> I don't know yes, why it has am... to be a competition. It just doesn't make any sense. Like you can just have a good fun show. A showcase? Yeah. Like a showcase of that. Like, yeah. This is the talent this week. And like, yeah. I don't think it, I don't think it benefits. Both for your favorites. It just becomes a popularity contest at the end of the day of like, how many of like your community members Isn't did you get to come out for, and watch for self-esteem? Pardon? Isn't that just perfect for everyone's mental health? And oh self-esteem? yeah, absolutely. But it's yeah. also just <laughs> as a community, like, it is weird. We're not super competitive with each other. And I think there's always going to be no. kind of a default level of competition. But a lot of times the people who come off as being super competitive and super negative don't do as yeah. well. And it's like we're very much about like supporting each other and building each other up. And that's what this event could be. Yeah. And then they've had to like gamify it for no particular reason. And now it's like I would have now we're competing against preferred. each other. A, like a Twitch music showcase of these are the yeah and like having both partners and affiliates yeah and I and that's what I up. that's what I thought it could it it should be that it, it was right now you're competing for a front page you're slot competing as, for a front page uh, slot that's yeah. correct for a two hour front page slot and the most voted wins that's correct is it one per round so there's I think there's oh, there are four rounds per per night I'm not sure I don't know if it's so I think there's like four people round. competing in round one, and the winner of round one gets a two-hour slot, and then and so forth. I don't even my uh, my is that I don't have that much original music <laughs> to fill, <laughs> or songs that I'm comfortable with to showcase now. Yeah, as a, this is me. Uh, but I know that Sabi just did it, mm-hmm. and she is amazing. Yeah, super impressed by her and her. <laughs> Her, her, yeah. Yes. She's her incredible. everything in general. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. She, her, the, the entity that is the Sadie's Park <laughs> is just. Yeah, it gives me hope. Aww. Um. Yeah. No. She's she's wonderful. I like. Yeah. There was like I don't know. There was a bunch of like cool people on the last one, and that's the thing is like I think it's a good event. I just it so yeah. sours it for me that it's a competition. Like, I'm going to apply. Yes. I'm probably going to do it. Because, like, why not take that opportunity to, like, you have really some exposure that. or whatever. But at the same time, it's also, like, I... This is also just, just a quick segue into something else. Don't want to win. Entirely. Mm-hmm. Quickly. If you have not, I'm now pointing towards the camera. You can see this, but I'm, I'm, I'm he's trying very, to... He's listeners. very much pointing, yes. You, If you haven't listened to the, to the beginning... Oh! <laughs> you should... As soon as you listen to this episode, you listen to that song, and then you're going to be happy. Thanks, Theo. End of message. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so competition. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you would slay, because you have such great songs. Thanks. But I just don't care. I don't did. care to win. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like obviously, winning would be nice, but I'm happy just to do it. I don't you're know. in your cozy corner, and yeah. you're, you're enjoying life. Yeah. You don't have to be the... Yeah. Yeah. 
And like, the, I mean, it, it's weird when you get the expectancy because that is also a good segue about this like <clears throat> competition things. I don't know when you've had live gigs if people go, "Have you applied for the Voice?" <gasps> you should, and like, f- friend, I am doing, I am leading my best life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I am playing on Twitch and people go, "Well, you should apply to the Voice," why? <laughs> <laughs> or the X Factor or Idol, whatever. Yeah. Then I had to go through the, the meat grinder. One, just applying, going through the process of auditioning, which is just gives me heart palpitation and dry mm-hmm. mouth. And and then if I were to go through the auditions, I'd have to compete with other people for for a a a contract to do what I'm doing right now on someone else's terms. That doesn't sound <laughs> good at all <laughs> yeah but i am i fully understand why people have that perception because if you win idol or x factor you've you've won the the this show yeah. and then you're the greatest yeah i just don't aspire to be the greatest <laughs> <laughs> I don't you don't have... want to be the very best <laughs> no, like no I, one ever I was just wanna... <laughs> i just want to i just want to play music <laughs> I don't want to compete. I want to play guitar and sing songs and yeah. sing silly songs yeah. about squirrels. I had someone in my stream last night and they meant it, or not last night, but like yesterday. And they meant it as a compliment, but it is, yeah. they came in and they said, um, uh, you should, you should have way, though. you should have so many yeah, more viewers. <laughs> it's a shame there's not more people here to like watch this. Your talent is so amazing or something like that. They made some some comment about there not being a lot of people. I'm like, yeah. I don't have my view counter on, but we average pretty high. Like yeah. as far as music goes, you know, like we're we're sitting in a really good place. Like we're not in the top tier, but we're not in the bottom tier or mid like we're pretty no. good we're doing pretty good i'm very happy very yeah. happy with where we are yeah and so i kind of said that i was like oh like i'm really happy with this situation like i think we're doing fine today chat was a riot like i had a really good time on my stream yesterday yeah. and like to have this person be like oh like you should have more views and then sure enough when we raided because i was so curious all of a sudden i'm like oh my god is is there not a lot of people Just here like what's going, going on but i didn't want like 20 people here yeah no. i didn't want to click my my view counter because i was having such a good time and then when we raided i'm like no there's tons of people here like what are you talking about and then i talked to ghost about it later and he's like yeah no there was like 125 people when that person said that and i'm like yeah People's perceptions of like fame and success are so different. It's also so super weird because if you have, even if you have 20 people, if you have five, six, 10 people watching you, that is still success. Then you've had. That's correct. If, you, if you've made connections with people that come to watch you do the thing you, you do good or that you apply yourself to. Yeah. That is incredible. And you're. And when someone says, and this comes back, sorry. It's okay. No, keep <laughs> going. Go, 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 go. Because this ties back to the gratefulness and practicing that. Instead of going, I should be, I should have. It's a very ethereal currency, people's time and viewership. You expect people to be there. It's just weird. Yeah, that's, and it becomes, that's correct. And, and if that's how, how you gauge how successful you are, you'll have a very hard time. <laughs> it's it, If your value is just tied to the amount of viewers at a specific time. Yes. Uh, you're <laughs> you're going to have a bad time. and I, But I think that, and we've all been there, you know, we've all had yeah, those course, moments yeah. where, you know, you are affected by the numbers down, yeah. and you are, you know, that's just a natural part of streaming. But there's like, I don't know, I have someone come in and be like, oh, there should be more people here when like, I am very, very, very <laughs> proud of myself right now. I'm very yeah. proud of where I am. I'm very proud of the journey that I've been on. And I've been proud of myself since having, you know, 10, 20 viewers. I've been proud of myself yeah. every step of the way. Yeah. So it's like, it is incredible. I don't want someone to come in and make me feel like I should, like that I deserve more. And I think this like competition thing, yeah, it just, it's, it's, it's yeah. that term of like deserving, you know, like yes. when you don't like, I don't know if you've ever done a competition thing where they're like, oh, you, you like, you didn't win, but then someone will come and be like, oh, you deserve to win that. Like you should have won that. And it's like, I didn't necessarily That's deserve not... it. That's such a weird yeah. term. <laughs> Yeah, it is a very weird thing to deserve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but of course, yeah, and, and but of course, we both struggle with like v- numbers and stuff. But it's it happens from time to time a little bit, 
it's not our sole focus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if it were the sole focus on like, are there enough viewers? Life would be terrible. 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 Yeah, it would. It would be horrible. Right now, it's just sort of a. It's in in the grand scheme of things, that people spend their time. Hang. It is incredible. And the th- and on the same note, thank you for listening to this, <laughs> <laughs> which yeah. is also just mind boggling. I'm so grateful and thankful for everyone saying that they like the podcast and that they listen and seeing like the statistics, Mm -hmm. sensation, soul stretching statisticals. There we go. (laughs) Seeing them in the inbox that people have downloaded like this week's episode this many times going, wow. Yeah. That's that's huge. Yeah. It's really, it's really exciting. And like, I'm proud of what we've made and I'm really happy that people are enjoying it, but I don't want to, I just don't. I don't want to compete either, Theo. Like, yes, I want to no. be good. I want to be. I want to be really good. But you want to be number one in Norway? <laughs> yes, but <laughs> being really good doesn't mean that other people aren't really good. And I think that's something that is really hard yes. for people to wrap their heads around sometimes. And like, I, A can be good. B can be good. Yeah, yeah there's your value doesn't. Yeah, your, your, yeah, your your value or doesn't increase because val- other people's value decreases you know like or increases or yeah or yeah yeah, it's just weird when you start yeah i think we talked about it before (laughs) in terms of like i you know i made my tutorial for people to get onto twitch yeah i didn't do that for me like (laughs) (laughs) i didn't do that because it was something that was going to benefit me like if anything, it would almost be worse to have more people if I was in that mindset, because then I'd be like, oh, well, oh, yeah. that's other people that viewers are going to go and watch instead of watching me. And it's like, that's disgusting. Yeah. First of all, it's not true. <laughs> and second of all, gross. <laughs> you know, like we benefit from having more amazing people on the platform. We all of benefit course, yeah. from that. And if it if other yeah. people can have the experiences that we've had that's what I want. Like, that's why I keep helping people get started. Like my friend Kel is going to start streaming music really soon. I went and like got her all this equipment and helped her set up. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited for her to like experience it, you know, and to get to be part of this. Um, and she's already streaming games, but I'm excited for her to stream music because it's a very different beast. And like, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I just competing doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't make sense to me. Helping each other out is is, yeah. is better. Yeah, yeah. You get more achieving, out of helping yeah. other people yeah. than you do competing against them. Yes. Sorry. There's and friends. The, the wonderful saying. <laughs> there's also the wonderful saying: the people you you uh, you climb on the way up, you'll have to face on the way down. Mm-hmm. Which is a very very good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, a good saying. Yeah, I was talking to some 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 people who I've who I've hung out with a lot in the past at the open mic on Tuesday, and I've been trying to tell them about, about like Twitch. Yeah, <laughs> just do it. You don't have to have fancy equipment. Mm-hmm. You just have to do it. Yeah, put in the hours, see if you like it, but don't dismiss it as a oh, it's just the internet thing. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, but no, no, <laughs> no bueno. One one person that approached me going, are you some sort of internet celebrity now? <laughs> well, yes, I, I mean, am. kind <laughs> of. You kind of are. <laughs> oh, I, I did the Swedish thing. Going, no, 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 no. I've, I've, I've reached uh, a moderate amount of success. I am I'm very happy. Mm-hmm. I'm successful in that I'm happy mm-hmm. at where I am and what I get to do. I, mean, I think that's a good way to be, though. I think that is, yeah. <laughs> I think that's the right answer. It's it's nice to be able to put my head on the on the pillow, going ah, t- today it was a good day. Yeah, yeah, and tomorrow will Practicing also be gratitude. a good day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Remembering all the things that are that are good yeah. instead of going, I should, I deserve. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I they deserve. Can do that, can do, yeah. Um. There's a there's a mantra that has been going around on. An affirmation, a mantra? I'm not sure. That's been going around on TikTok for a bit. I keep seeing it. Oh. Um, and I've actually started Next saying it. A, yes. <laughs> I've started saying it a little bit every once in a while just to remind myself. And, like, some people are being like, oh, it's magic. It, like, makes good things happen. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> but I think it ties back <laughs> to gratitude a lot. So it's like yeah. the the phrase is... 
uh, I do not chase. What I need I will find me. I do not chase what I need will find me. Yes. Yeah. And I think that there's such a power to that idea of like, I'm not yeah. going to chase because yes. what I need, what I deserve, what I require will come to me because I'm putting yeah. that energy out kind of thing. It doesn't mean don't try, but it does force you yeah. to like, <laughs> it forces you to be grateful. It forces you to yeah. think about like, the things that have come to you naturally instead of you like pushing to try and get him pushing, pushing, pushing and chasing, chasing, chasing to just like sit and and be like, no, I'm just going to let this happen. I I, I just want people to do more shit (laughs) or stuff (laughs) and just grind and just don't expect anything to come out of it. Yeah. Do hobbies, do things that are fun, be creative Enjoy things. Mm-hmm. Don't you don't have to be viral on TikTok for you to be successful. No. Such we uh, Theo with his monkeys and the, we all apes, but <laughs> we live in a time where like we can interact with all the. I was listening to the podcast we, where we talked about music videos mm-hmm. and just how fortunate we are now. I, I, I know that we be, touched upon that topic as well, but that how fortunate we both are that we live in a time where we can put things like this on the internet and have an audience yeah. there to listen to it. Yeah. This isn't some weird tape recorded things that we <laughs> drop off at and then people make their own copies and spread it. Yeah. It is such a w- wonderful time to be alive and Skillshare and uh, like learning things. There are so much free software. Yeah. And free Go advertising. Sh- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, by the way, this is brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> <laughs> no, Theo, no, someday no, no. we're going to have a sponsor uh, and it's going to be wild. Yeah. Oh, I just want you to know. That would be fun. How crazy yeah? would that be? It's going to be cool. Yeah. No, no, don't chase the things. We- <laughs> yeah, we can't chase. We just have to let it happen. It would be fun to have a sponsor. Yeah, it'd be nice. It would be fun to have a sponsor. I've always been very cross with, with Skillshare because of the amount of ads. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but now that I've used it, I'm so sorry. It would be cool to get like sponsored by Skillshare, or as we talked about before, Notion and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Things we actually believe in and use. Yeah. Instead of going, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> uh, precisely. <laughs> um, oh, that is the yeah. number one spot. <gasps> oh, fancy boy. Sorry. There's a fancy boy. Um, oh, he's going to sit right in the doorway he's, for you. Wow. <laughs> he did a 180 through 60. Yep, now he's flat. The camera. Yes, uh, that is a very pancakey boy. He's, oh yes, very pancakey. Ten out of ten would uh, put syrup on. <laughs> <laughs> um, we should probably wrap up. Oh my! I have a million wow. things to do. I am Theo. Yes. I am two weeks away from freedom. Some peace and quiet. <laughs> yeah. I'm very, very, very excited. <laughs> very, very, very. It's gonna excited. be good. It's going to be really good. Um, at the end of September, for those of you who I haven't heard me say this, I am all of my contracts are up. So I left my full-time job in July. I picked up a couple of contract jobs. Oh, that's so cool. Um, and the contracts are all up at the end of September. The so vinyl is pretty much done. I have to ship it to the manufacturer. <gasps> so that's happening. That is just incredible as well. Um, yeah. And then the contracts are done. A complete normal sentence for everyone in their yes. life. Uh, and then my contract will be up, and then, gets to do th- and then I get to just <laughs> yeah. chill for a bit. I'm in Halifax. I'm going to go to Halifax. I'm going to go see Charlie. Yeah. Um, going to go see the ocean. I haven't seen the ocean in a very long time. Oh. Um, I hear it's wet. It's very. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely moist is another word for the ocean. Yes. Yes. Um, Breathtakingly moist. <laughs> Great. Uh, what are you What are you grateful for today? I am very grateful that I, that I that I get to chat with you. It's incredible that I have the opportunity to chat with you every week and just a, a talented, smart, creative individual that I call a friend. Just it's wonderful. <laughs> I'm also grateful for. Hmm. Can I say music? Yes. <laughs> Like that'd be the, the, the invention of of music, 
and, and recording and, and sp- spreading messages through mm-hmm. with notes and tones. I'm very happy about that. I'm grateful about that. Yes, I agree. This has been soul stretching. <laughs> I'm also very grateful for soul stretching. Yeah, me too. Um, be careful not to stretch it too oh, far. Yeah. Um, I <laughs> I'm grateful for coffee. Um, oh, lately I've been that very grateful good. that we have a car. Um, oh. because we didn't have a car for a very very long time, and it's really nice to have a car. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can understand that. Um. So that's been, that's been really nice. Definitely like massively grateful for that. I'm really grateful for, um, getting to talk to you every week and I'm really, really proud of us for like, this is episode yes. 12, which just to put into it perspective <laughs> means that we've been doing this for three months. <laughs> yes. Wow. That is a quarter of a year. Yeah. It's been a really long time. Um, and it's, it's oh a little God. bit more than that actually. Cause we used to do every other week. Um, whereas now yeah. we're recording every week. So it's been a, a, a hair over three months that we've been doing this, Six, which is a very yeah. significant amount of time to like regularly do it. We have not missed a week. That being said, we no, will we at some not. point be skipping a week. <laughs> yes. Intentionally. <laughs> intentionally, though. because we want to, we're going to change it up so that we're recording and releasing in the same week. So that if we have yeah. something we want to talk about that's happening in that week, um, it actually will line up. So like today is the 16th, but this episode comes out on the 24th. Um, so when you're listening, hello in the future from hello, Alana future. of, uh, eight days ago, um, eight days ago, yeah. if they listen to it, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the attempt was good. Um, it was. <laughs> but yeah, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that we've been able to do this and that we're having such a good time with it that it doesn't, it doesn't feel I like. I can't imagine how, how easy it is, or especially on my part, since I don't <laughs> have to edit anything. <laughs> so easy, I eh, feel. But, <laughs> but like technologically, yeah. technologically yeah. speaking, you are in, in, in Toronto. I am. I am in, in Malmö, Sweden. That, that is are. quite the way off from each other. Yeah. And there's like no latency. It feels like a national conversation. She's not. Ah, yes. Yes, right. True. Um, yeah, no, it's it's very. Uh, you're you're very correct. Uh, and like, it's an easy edit. It's really it's really not that difficult. And I just play a video game and listen through and cut things out when I need to that cut things perfect. out, and that's it. <laughs> we go. Oh no, no, this is not made for human ears. <laughs> At some point, we will have video clips, and maybe that's what I'll make Theo yes. do. I'll make Theo do the, the video clips. I would love to do that, actually. <laughs> I've been learning so much about GIMP and, and, and the 3D modeling and, and also Resolve. Yeah, so that would be perfect. Um, but until be, then. Until then. Thank you for You can find us me. on Linktree. Oh, yeah. Um, link.tr slash mostly finished. Um, and you can also yes. email us at mostly finished at gmail.com so if you have any questions you can post them in either of our discords or you can email us at mostly finished at gmail.com that is wonderful yeah and we will be talking next week yes um i hope you have a wonderful uh rest of your week and weekend etc same to you friend um i am going to watch burn notice now oh <laughs> did you ever watch burn Notice? no i don't know what that is it is an old uh spy the series I'll, well, I'll talk i'll touch more of this next time okay I'll, perfect. I'll have a whole thing perfect uh around. make street elephants a horse thing make street elephants a horse thing have a great week bye bye bye